जय हिंद वंदे मातरम एंड भारत माता की जय स्वागत है आपको ऑन द फौजी शो टुडे वी हैव विद अस वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट पवन आदित्य सो पवन आदित्य हैज बीन रिकमेंडेड फॉर एफकेट एंट्री एंड दिस वाज हिज फिफ्थ अटेम्प्ट ठीक है एंड ही इज वेरी यंग प्रोबेबली द यंगेस्ट इन हिज कोर्स ही इज जस्ट 19 और इससे पहले इसने तीन अटेम्प्ट्स एनडीए के दिए हैं और एक अटेम्प्ट टीएस का दिया है और स्क्रीन आउट कॉन्फ्रेंस आउट स्क्रीन आउट कॉन्फ्रेंस आउट रिकमेंडेड ठीक है दैट इज द क्रोनोलॉजी ही इज आमी ब्रैट पिताजी इनके नायक रिटायर हुए हैं फ्रॉम रेजिमेंट ऑफ आर्टिलरी एंड देन ही सर्वड इन एस बी आई एज वेल मदर होम मेकर है शूटिंग का ये नेशनल लेवल प्लेयर है और चेस भी खेलता है नेशनल लेवल पर और पब्लिक स्पीकिंग एंकरिंग डिबेटिंग इसके शौक है सैनिक स्कूल में एडमिशन हो गया था सेवेंथ में ड्यू टू सम मेडिकल कॉम्प्लिकेशन छोड़ना पड़ा हो लेकिन अब इसका मेडिकली फिट है एयरफोर्स के लिए और जाएगा ये एयरफोर्स एकेडमी तो आज हम इससे बात करेंगे और पवन से पूछेंगे उसकी जर्नी के बारे में कि कैसे इसने एसएसबी का प्रिपरेशन किया है रिटर्न का प्रिपरेशन किया है और कैसे आप लोग भी कर सकते हो वीडियो शुरू होने से पहले लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब कीजिए कमेंट कीजिए और बताइए कि आपको फौजी शो में अच्छा क्या लगता है ठीक है मेरे अलावा ऑफकोर्स जय हिंद वंदे मातरम और भारत माता की जय स्वागत है आपका द फौजी शो में द फौजी शो में सामाजिक जिम्मेदारी की तरफ एक विनम्र कोशिश है इस शो से इकट्ठा किया हर पैसा भारत के वीर फाउंडेशन में जाएगा ताकि हमारे शहीद भाई बहन की फैमिलीज को कोई भी आर्थिक समस्या ना आए आपके एक लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब से किसी की सहायता हो सकती है क्योंकि मैं खुद एक एक्स एन डी हूँ और नेशनल डिफेंस अकेडमी में तीन साल ट्रेनिंग किया हूँ मैं सम्मान करता हूँ हर उस भाई बहन का जो सरहद पर है ताकि हम जैसे लोग आप और मैं चैन की नींद सो सके थैंक यू सो मच पवन भाई फॉर कमिंग ऑन आर चैनल एंड एक्सेप्टिंग माई इन्विटेशन इट्स एन ऑनर प्रिवलेज टू होस्ट यू बडी एंड थोड़ा ऑडियंस को अपने बारे में बता दे मैं काफी कुछ बता चुका हूँ लेकिन कुछ ऐसी चीजें होंगी जो शायद नहीं मैंने कवर की तो वो भी ऑडियंस को बता और ये भी बताना कि तेरे को फौज में मोटिवेशन कहाँ से मिली ज्वाइन करने की तेरे को Thank you very much, sir, for inviting me for this show. I have been following this show from a very long time, and uh, if I have to tell about myself, then uh, as uh, almost you have covered everything, sir, I'm an army brat, and I also done the NCC in the Air Force wing. So my motivation came from NCC. So when I was in the Air Wing, my instructor used to explain me about the flying of the aircraft, how the aircraft would work, what are the working principles of the engines and all. So through that, I got a lot of motivation. apart from that when i was in sainik school also from a very early age i got the uh, insight into the lifestyle of an army officer the uh, kind of experiences that are there in the academy all such things they motivated me a lot and uh, if i have to say about my ssp experience also what my uh, i have made a lot of friends so the camaraderie which was there among our ssp batchmates the friendship the relation we have so i like that camaraderie which was there and that motivated me a lot because uh, the relationship you make with them it's completely different from what i have made in the civilians uh, civilian life so that is my main motivation to join the armed forces so i would like to continue my father's legacy as well my grandfather was in the army my father was in the army so it will be a great privilege to work in an organization like the indian air force so that has been my motivation ग्रेट यार फादर आर्मी में पिताजी ग्रैंडफादर भी आर्मी में तो उन्होंने बोला नहीं यार तुम क्यों एयरफोर्स का ट्राई कर रहे हो व्हाई नॉट आर्मी सर जब मैं ओके सो यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड सीडीएस 
no sir i was not eligible for the previous attempt because of age okay so you are young that's why na because uh, um, kya bolte hain 19 saal ke hi hai yaar abhi to tu to college final year ya final year hi hoga of course ya passed out final year sir third year mein hu abhi yeah okay you pursuing which degree sir bba sir bachelor of business administration okay good good great um मूविंग हाइट थोड़ा इस पे बात करते हैं पहले कि एनडीए का पेपर की तैयारी कैसे की बिकॉज तीन बार रिटर्न निकाला है सो आई नो थोड़ा सा पुरानी बात होगी लेकिन वट एवर यू कैन रिमेम्बर काफी ऑडियंस एनडीए एस्पिरेंट है मेरी तो जो भी यू कैन रिमेम्बर सो मेरा प्रिपरेशन था लाइक माई फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट वॉज इन एनडीए वन फोर सेवन एनडीए वन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन so before that the lockdown uh, was very long so i got a lot of time to with respect to maths for starting with the maths uh, i got a lot of time to prepare with the foundation like if we are uh, completing our 11th and 12th syllabus in a very early manner like if you are uh, by the initial part of the 12th itself i completed both 11th and 12th syllabus so because of that i was able to have a, that was a great foundation for my nda preparation after that so whatever textbooks which are there with our uh, ap state board andhra pradesh state board or cbsc books are there so reading those books is sufficient at the first place if we are doing that that has become a good foundation after that uh, we can go for the pathfinder so for example uh, i used to keep one timer for each day i used to have i used to cover one particular topic on that i used to take 10 to 20 questions uh, make a proportionate time limit for that and with respect to that i used to prepare for nda mathematics and pyq as well which is the previous year question papers i practiced almost every previous year question paper every course from 2016 to 2021 for the nda 147 so i would just say that for maths foundation is very important stick to your uh, syllabus college syllabus which is there 11th and 12th so that is more than sufficient after that go with the pathfinder and there is one book called uh, mathematics for nda by r s agarwal so that is also very helpful and the uh, sample sets 10 sample sets by arihant which you can practice in terms of mocks so just before one month uh, if your exam is in april uh, complete your syllabus by march and during this one pe- one month period of time give as many mocks as possible so that will improve your efficiency and uh, you can handle the time pressure as well so with respect to english sir uh, my was my strategy was reading the newspaper every day if we have the editorial newspaper i used to keep one dictionary beside me and uh, i used to it, there is one new word a word i am not familiar with i used to take a note down of that word read the antonyms synonyms of the word take the meanings of it and i used to make a separate book for the vocabulary so that helped me a lot with reading newspaper it helped me a lot with both current affairs and english and uh, apart from that there is the english other rules also which are the static rules which you can study from pathfinder only and uh, coming to the general science of uh, physics chemistry again i have to read the ncert books as well so 11th and 12th books are sufficient and uh, if we have to have a proper like a targeted approach we need to study pathfinder and for biology i studied the 8th 9th and 10th there are some certain important topics like the uh, the cell the structure of cell cell organelles what are there and uh, the diseases what are the causative organisms of each disease so if we study such things that is more than sufficient for uh, physics chemistry and biology for uh, history and uh, geography i have studied this uh, ncert books of 9th and 10th preferably go for 10th which is having the modern history part like the gandhi era the emergence of gandhi the kedha movement the champaran movement the strike in the uh, ahmedabad how the uh, non violence the satyagraha has gone on like in the 1920s 30s how the early moderates have handled the independence like this struggle and all so all such things are very important apart from that for that uh, geography part uh, the ninth class textbook a lot of direct questions are getting asked in the geography portion of nda because when i was preparing at that moment i don't know how it is right now uh, but uh, during that uh, period of time questions were directly coming from the geography portion in current affairs we need to study the uh, newspaper every day and there are the monthly magazines also which i used to follow for, from the arihant and uh, there are certain questions like uh, who has won the certain uh, particular trophy or uh, uh, for example there was recently one question was there abhinav bandra won uh, shooting medal in which event in which particular uh, olympic event 
so such questions are getting asked like the player and uh, the championship he has won in which particular year in which event like that so such questions are more than sufficient for current affairs and all and uh, that has been my preparation for uh, nda return in short great uh mujhe laga nahi tha itna detail mein bata payega because it has been quite some time but thank you so much itna detail mein jaane ke liye uh ssb pe aate hain Yes, what sir. wrong what were you doing wrong when you were going for nda slash ts ssbs screen out conference out screen out conference out teen bar india nikala but you know it didn't uh, convert so uh, what were you doing wrong that time so my very first attempt it was in dehradun so the main reason i got screened out from there so the main reason was uh, not able to handle my nerves so preparation kafi tha i was well prepared I knew that I was going to make it, but ah, uh, the narration time pe aata hai na, wo whenever term comes, I was unable to narrate my story properly. So that was like, uh, if we have to like narrate the story, we need to start with the like description of the story, how many characters are there, the genders, age, age group, and the action of the story. I was not able to mention all such things. So because of that, I was not able to like explain my story in a structured manner. So that was my main reason because of nerves. I knew that I had the story in my mind; it was well organized. but i was unable to speak out with the full confidence so that was my main reason for the first attempt screen out thereafter in my second third and fourth it was mainly my mentality uh, because uh, i used to read all these articles that ssb is very difficult it is meant for you know high level candidates and all but uh, the kind of mentality i had was like i was not meant for this so i was not trusting the process and jaisa uh, ki in my second attempt it went with really well but the problem was that uh, during the interview process i was telling her everything like there are certain things we should not tell like all of us have the gray areas in our lives so we need to tell the answers in a selective manner we should not reveal everything to the interviewing officer so i was telling such things to him uh, giving a lot of information so that was like one of my main reason and another one was lack of introspection also i was studying about the uh, current affairs the geopolitics whatever was happening in the world but i was not studying about my own self i need to as a candidate you need to know yourself first that is my uh, strict message know yourself first and then you go on to know about the world what is happening in the army air force and all so have a deep insight of whatever you have done in your life so that was my mistake i was not able to answer questions about my own self i was answering really well about current affairs and all and that was my second mistake third was uh, being uh, conscious about what was happening like uh, in my third attempt i was going to kapurthala i was looking at the number of candidates like, around 400 reported and i thought uh, this is not going to happen matlab uh, from the very first moment itself i was prepared for a screen up so that was like a lack of uh, uh, winning mentality winning mindset so that makes a lot of difference having the personality is one thing but uh, presenting that and uh, trying to be the best version of yourself is separate thing so uh we need to have a very good mind- mindset so a frame of mind is very important and we should not compare ourselves to others also so that was those three were my main mistakes and my fourth could be the physical fitness also so these were uh, like i could not make my nda uh, because of these reasons um ek na uh english communication uh, ka cohort chalate hum log to in which we train uh, youngsters who are preparing for uh government jobs plus you know basic uh, any if they have any public speaking fear so you know our trainers work on them and we have a two month long cohort so since i can see you are very confident in speaking english so uh can you just tell the audience ki how if they have a language problem so how can yes. they improve uh, their uh, language skills sir uh, if i talk about my own personal strategy it was that uh, all of us we have a certain topic on which we can speak for hours so there will be one topic for every person like it can be cricket it can be a movie it can be some certain drama it can be about a sport any other sport so take one such topic and try to speak as long as possible in english itself so what happens is with that you will be able to organize your thoughts into words let us say if uh, if i have to speak about cricket for one hour i'll be telling about the history the rules whatever things are there what are the re- recent matches how the system works how the ipl generates money how the teams are working the clubs leagues all over the world 
So I have to tell about every such thing. But if I make it into concise, like let's say five minutes, then the thought, thought process is different. We need to talk about the mainly the main topics like uh, what is happening in the recent past, like the IPL is going on, the World Cup has happened, or some other leagues are happening in the world. So how we organize our thoughts into words. Let us say if I take one certain topic, let's say the topic is global warming. I talk about the introduction, I can make a definition about it. Then I can talk about the causes of it and what are the consequences and what are the solutions we can do on an individual level, on the governmental level, on the NGO level and the conclusion. So whatever topic is there, we need to organize the topic first. Because when a topic comes, we, we have a lot of knowledge. So we have knowledge, but uh, we need to divide the topic and give the topic, give the topic in a structured manner. So that is one thing about English. So when we are speaking also, the way we, the structure is very important. And we need to like, if there is a mirror in front of us, we can practice. And uh, when I was uh, practicing, I used to make a voice recording of it. Then I used to listen. Then I used to make one video recording of it to check my body language, to check my expression, my facial expressions. So all such things make a difference. So it's like if even if we dedicate uh, three to five minutes every day for that, on a span of six, uh, six to six months to one year, we'll be able to make a very big difference. We can see a difference. So even now I have my own, own recordings. Like uh, my recordings before three to four years, now I compare myself, then it's completely different. So consistency is what matters a lot. And uh, as I said, reading books is very important for uh, English improvement also. Even I am, I, I read a lot of books also that will improve our vocabulary and also our thought process. So that is my, that has been my strategy for English communication. Uh, great. Uh, for our audience, uh, first April ko ek batch or first May? कोई एक बैच तो ये दो बैचेस हम शुरू करेंगे एंड व्हाट्सएप नंबर इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन आस्क फॉर मोर डिटेल्स एट द नंबर वीडियो को मैं ज्यादा फ्लो खराब नहीं करूंगा इसलिए उस व्हाट्सएप नंबर पे मैसेज करके पूछ लीजिएगा डिटेल्स पवन थोड़ा यार ये बता ये नेशनल लेवल शूटर वाला फेज और नेशनल लेवल चेस वाला फेज ये कब हुआ और हाउ डिड यू गेट इन टू दिस एंड टिल वॉट लेवल डिड यू प्ले वॉज you know is there any achievement jo matlab it is worth mentioning in your uh, paq sir starting with my uh, chess uh, that was in way back in 2014 so i used to play with my friends in sainik school so i was doing uh, quite well like reasonably well so during my uh, summer holidays so during the vacations in 2015 i remember uh, i went for uh, a local competitions and all i won a uh, good number of prizes in that so thereafter my coach advised me to like uh, go for the nationals and all so i thought i will just give it a try during the vacations so went for it and uh, i was able to like beat the uh, elbow rated players even now i have a rating of 1150 so oh, that is uh, even after going to the sainik school also i won one silver medal in my school level that was my that was the only medal i won uh, during the sainik school period so chess was like that sir after that uh, after i dropped out from science school also i continued playing chess i got one uh, silver medal in tri district competitions in uh, i won uh, first prize in the district level competition divisional level and also that was my phase of chess but after 10th i could not continue i was into studies more and uh, coming to my shooting it was uh, it started in 2021 so i thought i just give it, i will just give a try so it was like that but uh, thereafter i got to know about the competitions and all how the system works we need to play a state level competition and then the south zone pre nationals and then we need to play the nationals so i have been like participated in the last year or 2023 i got sixth position in the southern states south zone shooting championship and after that i got an opportunity to represent andhra pradesh at the nationals i oh, could not convert uh, i could not play well in the nationals so uh, because of lack of practice and all because it was my first nationals there was a lot of pressure but with my level of experience it was only 2 years so i thought i not would bad. say that it was yes sir it was not bad in a span of 2 years and it's i hope to yeah, continue yeah. career in shooting also these were very full army mein bahut opportunities air force tri services yes, mein bahut opportunity milengi so yes sir it depends like uh, whenever i come to play any competition like half of them are from army and uh, air force and they yes. do exceptionally well also they are on the top बिल्कुल और इवन एकेडमी टाइम से शूटिंग इज अ गेम यू नो व्हिच ऑफिसर्स आल्सो प्ले लाइक अनलाइक व्हाट हैपेंस इन एकेडमी जो कांटेक्ट गेम है जैसे बॉक्सिंग हो गया यस सर तो ऑफिसर्स डोंट प्ले बॉक्सिंग 
uh, when they become after they become officers yes. so but shooting is a game jo kafi officers pursue karte hain and kafi medal winners hain to dekhega agar uh, jcos mein bhi ncos mein bhi and uh, officers mein bhi so even uh, colonel rajwardhan singh rathor he has won a silver medal rajwardhan singh rathor एक सुबेदार साहब थे उनका नाम भूल गया सुबेदार विजय या कुछ ऐसा नाम था उनका वी से विजय कुमार आई थिंक इंग्लैंड लोन यस सो यू नो लॉट्स ऑफ एग्जांपल्स आर देयर ही वाज गिवन ऑनरेरी रैंक ऑफ ऑफ आफ्टरवर्ड्स सो मेनी एग्जांपल्स पवन इस पे थोड़ा आते हैं एसएसबी पे बिकॉज़ अब चार बार रिजेक्ट हो गया सो व्हाट डिफरेंट what thing did you do differently in your fifth attempt ki uh, you made it this time sir actually there was a gap of 16 months between my fourth attempt and fifth attempt because of the graduation entry so during this span of 16 months i genuinely never thought of like going for the ssb but the changes i made in my lifestyle for example the first one was the public speaking which was there so i was into uh, the elocutions the debating and uh, all such things so that gave me an like, opportunity to work on my uh, pressure like pressure handling so i was able to i got a chance to speak in front of hundreds of people so with that i was able to build a lot of confidence and apart from that uh, the second thing i did was the essay writing research paper writing also i have published articles with the amit university and uh, when essay writing i have won a lot of uh, prizes and all so with that i was able to organize my thoughts into writing so that helped me a lot with psychology in the wat as also like when i was researching a lot about the various topics so even my thought thought process got improved so whenever i write a sentence on particular word it's b- much better right now so that was like uh, two changes that i have made apart from that uh, playing uh, sports and all and uh, being an outdoor person playing football also that made me physically fit for ssb so i did not do anything with respect to ssb only for ssb but to become a better person in life so a change in the lifestyle is a reflection in the performance of ssb so i would say that uh, those are the changes apart from that the mentality part which i said so i was i was comparing myself to other like thinking about the result and all such things this time i uh, i trusted the process a lot like when i went to show shot academy also my batch by my, my batchmates were telling me that uh, you are going to make it even major general bopani sir he told me that you have a very high chances of making you just go to ssb like a tiger and you will have a very high chance even the psychologist told me that the gto told me that so i started like trusting myself after four failures i genuinely lost uh, my self esteem uh, and uh, confidence and all i thought i was not uh, made for the army but after all that brainwashing which was there by my candidates fellow candidates <laughs> i thought i will just focus on the process leave everything to the result like if i am doing my best let let me think that this is my last attempt so that was my Great. mindset for the guwahati attempt so and then Great. i got recommended let's break down your last attempt in which you have got recommended uh, let's yes. start with the screening part uh, kitne bacche report kiye kitne bacche screen in hue and what was the picture shown in your perception and uh, what did you uh, write how was the narration how was the group discussion wo thoda bataya audience ko yes sir uh, the reporting was 65 and uh, the screening uh, the number of screened in candidates was 32 and we okay. were divided into uh, into four groups of eight people each and out of those 32 around uh, only two got recommended and uh, starting with the screening part now uh, the ppd to picture was like there were three people like three uh, persons standing in a, a closed room kind of thing and uh, i could see a certain book stall behind it a pile of books and all so i perceived that it was a uh, library they were uh, uh, writing a research paper or something a group of three students and uh, discussion was more about my thought was completely different uh, because the remaining candidate they perceived that they were preparing for a competitive exams preparing for civil services or uh, some capf and all so i thought uh, in the narration part i made sure that i gave all the details about the picture like the number of characters like three main characters all in the age group of 19 to 21 and in a seemingly positive mood and the action of my story is writing a research paper but uh, my group mates they were telling that uh, civil services and all so for the group discussion i thought that okay i'm not 
I'm completely different. My story is completely different. So I will go with their idea. Even their idea was good enough. It was a decent idea. So we we made a common group story that they were preparing for civil services and uh, they cleared it after a lot of hard work. So that was our uh, PPDT in a nutshell. Okay, great. And then uh, you have screen in the second day, pe, uh, psych test. So what was your uh, blank story and how many SRT and WAT were you able to attempt? Yes, sir. Like my psychology testing was on the very same day, first day itself. In okay, AFSP, it was on the evening. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. The uh, TAT, the pictures shown were mostly neutral. Like uh, a person addressing a group of people or uh, a background of agricultural field. Another picture was uh, one person like arranging something in the Almara, in the cupboard. So such pictures were shown. It was most, mostly neutral. Nothing negative was given. And uh, coming to the WAT, I have attempted 59 votes. And I could not write one word, which was the 59th one, I remember. And uh, SRT, I was able to attend 45. And a blank story, my blank story was about uh, 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 one, as I'm a public speaker, so one candidate, he was preparing, preparing for a district level electrician competition and how he prepared for that, how he has won that competition. So my team was that for blank story. Great. And first uh, about interview, second day, third day, fourth day, kabua. Interview was on fourth day, sir. Fourth day. Kya kya pucha ona ne? PIQ based tha ya? Uh, मतलब point to point pooch rahe the. What uh, like how was the interview like? If any funny incidents, so you can mention that. Yes, sir. Uh, when I like entered the room, he said he asked about my place first. As I'm from Vishakhapatnam, he told me like what are the recent developments in Vishakhapatnam, which are happening. He told me to mention that, and uh, after that. Uh, and what was asked about my uh, PRQ itself, like the CAQ one, which is there. First, it started with the academics. Tell me about your academics and uh, your uh, achievements in the academics. What all activities you have done in your school life? Uh, what are the responsibilities you have taken? Such questions were asked. And apart from that, after the CAQ one, he asked me certain uh, current affairs questions, like the what is happening in North Korea, what is happening in South Korea, and uh, what are the recent developments in the Air Force, and what is the main functions of uh, purpose of Air Force. And thereafter, okay. he asked me about the CIQ2, which was about my family, what kind of relation you have with your family, what uh, three things you like about your uh, father, you dislike about your father, your mother, your sister, what are the similarities and differences between you and your sister. So such questions were asked. After that, the CIQ3 was there about my uh, extracurricular activities and uh, hobbies, what I do in my free time, uh, what is my routine in the uh, in the daily life and all. And in the last, he asked me like certain questions on my PIQ itself, like what are the five good qualities of a public speaker? What are the five good qualities of a shooter? Five good qualities of a chess player? Good qualities of a uh, of a, of an anchor and all. And then in the in the end, he asked what are the five good qualities of a Air Force officer? And uh, tell me why uh, you think you are fit for the Air Force? Tell me any five reasons. So this was a list of questions asked to me and. Uh, uh, certain questions were asked about my shooting also, like what is the speed of the pellet and what is the material used in it, what is the working mechanism, what is the gas which is used in the cylinders of the pistol. So such questions were asked about shooting. And uh, about chess also, you asked certain uh, positions and all, what are the openings, English opening, uh, Sicilian opening, which I, I used to play. Okay. So, told so me to, like, he also must be a chess player that he was asking about uh, yes, you know, sir, such sir. plays. Great. Who is your favorite about, chess player, by the way? Uh, my favorite chess player was, is uh, Vishwanathan Anand. Okay. Indian Grandmaster. Yes, sir. So he asked me to tell the notations of it, like what is the English opening? It starts with C4. And then the G3 move is there. So he told me to uh, mention, like, what are the first three to four common moves which are there in English opening? And then he to asked me about, like, who is the uh, current uh, uh, best shooters in India, who is leading at the world stage. Olympic medalist in the past and all. So such questions were asked about the sport I used to play. Okay, great. And did he ask anything about Sainik school or that injury? Sainik school, actually, I did not mention, sir, because it is not mentioned in the PRQ also. In my previous attempts, I thought if I mention Sainik school, I will get some advantage. But uh, as I left Sainik school, it always backfired upon me. Uh, I, I could not explain the reason properly. I used to say that because of my medical condition, I used to left the uh, side school, but then he used to counter question why you left side school. You could have taken a sick leave and come back. 
such such questions were asked. So I thought it's better not to mention science school in the PIQ and uh, during the interview also. Good. And, good so it's not lying it's just not telling something which yes, is sir. not asked <laughs> so... yes sir. that was the difference between my second and fifth attempt okay great oh great acha uh, is pe thoda aate hain about gto yes uh, lecturer ke ta- kya topics hai gd ke kya topics hai sir my topics were for the lecturer uh, the smart ways in india smart cities in india and express ways in india and third topic was unforgettable dream and uh, the remaining other candidates they got sri lankan crisis electric vehicles and all and uh, the gd topic was the division of states what are the main reasons for it is it the easier administration or for the easier, easier administration or the breaking the linguistic barriers or another one was uh, why is the russian ukraine war so prolonged so they gave us three options which was the arms race the geopolitical wars and uh, I do not remember the third one. So those were the two topics given to us. Okay, great. And uh, individual obstacles, how many? I could do only four. Four? Yes, sir. Asa, Air Force ke thoda height bhi upar hoti na, I have heard. Thoda yes, tough hoti hai as compared to army. But why four? Were you unwell? I was uh, actually I have practiced a lot, sir. The vertical rope, which I used to okay. like in the gym, I used to like climb it like three to four times. But uh, the rope which was there in Guwahati, it was very tight. I could not like roll it over my legs and uh, move up. So it was like I, I could not plan the obstacles properly. I ran out of time. And uh, if I had to do individually, I could have done seven to eight. But uh, due to time limit, I could I could do only four. Hmm. Nay rope में थोड़ी दिक्कत आ जाती है academy में भी जब हमारे yes. rope test वगैरह होते थे ना तो we used to request साब कि साब कोई middle aged rope होगी अगर थोड़ी मिट्टी विट्टी हाथ पे लगा कर ट्राई कर सकते हो बट रोप एक बार आप चढ़ना सीख गए तभी फिर आपको अकेडमी में क्या होता है आप चालीस पचास रोप चढ़ते हो ठीक है उससे भी ज्यादा कभी अगर आपके सीनियर का दिमाग खराब हो गया सो आफ्टर अ वाइल जब आपके हाथ एकदम सुन हो जाए सो यू स्टार्ट क्लाइंबिंग बाय योर लेग्स सो आप बस अपने हाथ को लॉक करते हो और पैर को ऊपर करते हो और फिर पैर से पूरा चढ़ते हो रोप और बट Uh, you know, first attempt में just try to climb as best as you can only with your hands. So so you will build strength. Uh, yes. Anyways, um, let's move ahead. इस पे बात करते हैं थोड़ा जो रस्सा फट्टा बल्ली वाले टास्क थे. How did you fare in that? And like, अगर someone is uh, you know uh, not cooperating in the group. so how can you work around that sir uh, first thing is that everyone wants to prove himself in front of the gto and it's a very good thing uh, because everyone is trying to contribute giving their ideas so that's a positive thing never take that negatively and uh, i would say that if someone is not listening to you uh, explain your idea properly like you can show them the, your idea if their idea is better like it's more about there are so many ideas sir like for example to complete one task For a test, there is only one good answer, one correct answer. But for a task, there are so many ways to do it. So it's more about which one is more time efficient, which one we can do quickly and with minimal use of efforts and resources. So let us say if someone is wanting to use all the three obstacles, like all the three material given to us, the rope, fatta, and bali, so explain to them that we can do it with only two resources or with only one resource. So mention those things which are easier to do. You can always show them and. Uh, my technique was that i was having the positional advantage if you are in the center every in every task i was at the center sir so with that i was able to implement my ideas if their ideas are better i will implement theirs if mine is better i will implement mine so listening is very important sir we need to listen after that only we need to make a decision like which one is more efficient so if someone is not listening then uh, understand that they also want to prove themselves nothing wrong with that but uh 
try to be more open towards options like every time we need not uh, give implement our own ideas if we are uh, letting others do then it's a good thing it's a sign of cooperation your oq is being shown to the gtu so it's always a positive thing but if someone is disrupting like uh, you have already made a structure and uh, they are uh, they want their structure they are very stubborn then it's okay but uh, it's more of like having the good social skills like convincing them how we convince like there is a positive uh, we can do this this in its particular manner so such things can be shown to the uh, candidates to the fellow candidates okay fair enough uh is pe aate hain regarding conference so yes, conference kitni der chali and what all did they ask and um, how was it uh, actually like uh, for the discussion it was around 10 minutes i was sitting outside the room and after i entered it was like around 5 to 7 minutes so the moment i i sat down he told me to like what are you doing presently such questions were asked and uh, certain uh, situations were given to me like if someone is not listening to you what would you do and what was the difficult phase of your life how did your parents help with you in your ssp and in your daily life who are you closer to you do you uh, are you close to your father or mother and uh, tell me about your uh, participation in shooting and chess and such questions were asked and i was able to answer in a decent manner so like the srts which were given i said that uh, if someone is not listening to me i will listen to their ideas maybe we have uh, they might have a better idea we try to get to a common ground uh, by implementing and uh, adding our both ideas coming to a common ground is very important so i was able to give such replies and uh, in the end he asked me one question if you would like to repeat one task which task would it be i said individual obstacles and uh, the command task because uh, they were not good and he asked me why i said uh, i said that sir i could have done better in those two tasks so i think i will repeat them and he said okay uh, okay pawn very thank you very much hindi told us to go purani ssvs mein kitne individual obstacles kiye the aapne in my mysur one first conference that was only 3 and in the varanasi it was 3 again okay so ye kahin na kahin ek weakness bhi rahi hai starting se yes sir okay aur uh, fir uske baad jo is pe aate hain best part recommendation ka so how many of the in 32 guys got recommended and uh, what was your reaction what was your parents reaction and वो मोमेंट कैसा था सर एक्चुअली ओनली टू वर्ड रिकमेंडेड चेस्ट नंबर 16 एंड चेस्ट नंबर 26 सो माय चेस्ट नंबर वाज 26 सो द मोमेंट ही कॉल्ड अ 16 आई रियलाइज दैट यू नो लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स कुड नॉट मेक इट लाइक 1 टू 15 ऑल ऑफ देम गॉट कॉन्फ्रेंस आउट सो ही गेव अ गैप लाइक अराउंड 20 टू 25 सेकंड एंड देन ही अनाउंस माय चेस्ट नंबर सो आई वाज आई न्यू दैट आई वाज माय परफॉर्मेंस वाज गुड आई हैड अ वेरी गुड चांस दिस टाइम बट आफ्टर गेटिंग रिकमेंडेड वी हैव टू शाउट आवर नेम लाइक my name was very long and i have to shout my date of birth also and after shouting Can my name please i tell the audience your entire name nadupuru pavan aditya naidu that is my full name and uh, <laughs> i have to shout that thing like i was kind of emotional so i could not raise yeah. my voice and that emotion was seen in my voice also even the dsp sorry was quite surprised by my reaction i had tears in my eyes that moment and uh, <laughs> after that i have to shout my date of birth also which i forgot to mention he 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 was able to understand that and then we were told to like uh, i could not cry in front of the other candidates so i was controlling myself we were taken to a separate room like for the documentation and uh, they told us to like uh, call your parents and inform your parents and uh, i have called my parents and my father lifted the call so at that moment i told them, told my father that i got recommended and then he started crying so after listening to him i could not control because till that moment i was able to hold back but at that moment i started crying in front of me uh, the airmen were also there group of airmen they were staring at me but uh, it was both emotional and embarrassing also i was I, we don't see any, any recommended candidates crying as much even the one of the airmen told me so that was like my experience i could not hold back my tears and uh, for the next 2 to 3 days i was i was so happy i could not do anything i was almost like yeah. blushing for everything so that was yeah, actually that was feeling feeling was. Hai, because hum to fauji ke bacche hain to hum sab mein hi wo sap, sapna rehta hai na ki yaar uh, hum bhi commission ho apne father ko salute mare kyunki yes, bachpan se dekhte aa rahe so ek wo to hota hi hai army brats ka uh ye teri jo full name wali baat hai na jisme you had to shout your full name to isse mujhe 
यू नो एक चीज याद आई तो आई बिलोंग टू इंडिया स्टूडेंट तो पीछे फ्लैग देख सकते हो तो उसमें क्या होता है कि फुल नेम ट्रेडिशन है सो इफ एनी कैडेट हैज टू बी कॉल्ड ऑफिशियली सो ही विल बी कॉल्ड बाय हिज फुल नेम सो अब नाउ वी हैड अ कैडेट फ्रॉम श्रीलंका सो एवरी टाइम यू हैव टू कॉल हिम सो हिज नेम वुड बी कैडेट मुथुगुरु अर्दुकु कनिष्का उचड़के डायस नाउ यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ऑल दिस लॉन्ग नेम ठीक है एंड इफ यू मेस इट ठीक है कि गलत हो गया बंबू ठीक है तो बिल्कुल एंड ग्रेट मेमोरीज और भी बहुत थे जैसे कैडेट यजनेश विवेक जो लेकर ऐसे कर बहुत लंबे लंबे नाम बट ग्रेट इज जाने से पहले पवन एक लास्ट क्वेश्चन यू आर समन हुए सीन फेलियर एनडीए कॉन्फ्रेंस आउट स्क्रीन आउट टी एस स्क्रीन आउट और थोड़ा ऑडियंस को बता कि इफ वट इज अ मैसेज टू द गाय या फीमेल एस्पेरेंट आउट देयर हु इज प्रिपेयरिंग लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं किसी स्टेज पे दे आर मैसिंग आउट मैसिंग इट आउट मतलब वट इज अ मैसेज टू द गाय आउट देयर so there was one example which i have read recently uh there was one such mountaineer i don't remember his name but he was his aspiration was to climb the mount everest so in the first attempt he could not make it but then he told himself that as the mountain the mountain could not grow it is the same mountain even after so many years but as as a human being we can grow so in the same way ssb is one such mountain it will never grow up it is the same procedure it will have the same level of expectations but as a candidate as a sincere aspirant you can always grow you can always groom yourself to be an officer so once you raise your standards then it's very easy to clear the ssb but the tough part is handling the failures because uh, if you are a sincere aspirant then this will pay off at some stage i even i knew that if uh, if i keep trying even if it takes 10 or 15 attempts i was ready for it because the result will be so worth it that all the struggle you you will forget all the struggle and uh, you'll be in tier second promise you that if you are from the defense background or if you're even from the civilian if you like the defense forces really well if you love it then even if so many failures happen it you can handle it really well so that was my case because even after four failures i could not uh, stop loving the air force and uh, i kept giving the efforts and expected that even if you don't clear the ssb you can be a great person in life you can have great insight you who can handle failures better who can handle pressure better who can handle social situations face any challenges who is very open to challenges so that kind of person you can easily become with ssb so it gives you a lot of lessons also even if you don't become an officer so if it is one dream where uh, you can dedicate any number of years so that is my sincere suggestion to the aspirants that never give up and you will not regret taking this decision you can have lot of friends lot of uh, social circle which is there so just say that it's very important to be persistent and uh, results will come at one point great uh, thank you so much pavan for coming on our channel uh, thank great you to have you buddy we wish you all the best for your tenure at af and usse pehle jo medicals hai so that you get flying fit and achieve your dream of flying a fighter jet most probably <laughs> so, <laughs> all you, the best so buddy and uh, just do well and we wish you all the best for all our viewers uh, we would be starting our english communication cohort from 1st of april and 1st of may so do check it out the whatsapp number and link is in description along with the information brochure and also do subscribe like share subscribe karo aur apne dosto mein spread karo so that wo wo bhi dekhe ki pavan ki kahani kaisi thi and they get just type motivated okay thank you so much take care thank you so good much. night jai hind jai sachin